So what we're looking at so far is the tower with the motherboard installed. I haven't really installed anything else into it yet because I haven't gotten any of the other parts. But mainly in this video, I want to show how the radiator would fit. I do apologize, lighting is very limited and it's gonna make it very hard to be able to see what I'm doing, which is why I have a flashlight. I will show on the light the spots. I'm gonna emphasize here. So on these top three fan ports, this looks like you could fit a 300 or a three fan radiator to the tower so it can connect to the CPU and water cool it. And in hindsight, these ports look like that you could do something like that, but the reality is you cannot. I have a radiator and I'm going to try to fit it into this tower. When I try to fit this radiator into the tower, it will clip on this part and the optical media drives. They're in the side of the tower, so they can't really be seen at this moment. But what I'm gonna do is grab the radiator over here and show how it would fit in this tower regularly. Keep in mind, again, this is a Cooler Master Cosmos 2 case. There's an ultra tower that I'm trying to fit, keep in mind, a three fan radiator inside of it. And so when I try to fit this radiator inside, it'll go into the drive bay and it'll appear to fit properly. But when you try to put it in all the way, it'll start clipping the ports for the motherboard in the back where you would hook up a USB 3.0 device into the back of your PC or other devices and such. And as a result, the radiator cannot fit in the back of the tower properly, or the bit inside the tower properly. I'm sorry. So knowing this, that it clips off this part and inside the optical media drive, what we're gonna have to do is modify the tower. I really want it to be able to fit a three fan radiator as it gives increased performance and cooling and benefits towards the tower. The modification that will be required for the tower is going to be the top part of these three ports. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna get help cutting down a specific part, top part of the tower, kind of cut it to the exact dimensions of the three fan radiator. And what will happen is I'm going to put it inside and it's going to sink into these ports until it hits a very specific part close to the motherboard but not quite at it. So what will happen is it will go down to about where that part is on top and the radiator will go down a bit lower inside of the tower. This will allow it to fit in properly and it will only take away one of the optical media ports. That's all will happen rather than taking away two optical media ports. I am willing to make a sacrifice of one of the optical media ports as you know, these media ports usually either fit in tracking software and such and drives for the most part are a dead technology. Optical media doesn't get used often these days. But this is so far what will need to be done in order for the towers to have a three radiator or a three fan radiator housed into it. It'll require a slight modification. And when the process comes up, when I modify the tower, I'm going to show modifying it and putting the three fan radiator into it. Well, until then, the tower will stay like this. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And when I start modifying the tower, I will definitely upload a video on it. Until then, have a good night, all.